Hey guys, my name is Ricardo Laborio. I have Kevin here helping me with the tip of the month in Century Martial Arts. Okay, Century BJJ, come up with a lot of tips, all for BJJ, besides the drills and passes and submissions and sweeps, everything else for BJJ with Century Martial Arts. All right guys, now we're working on half guard. Now, we're going to change a little bit of the half guard here right now. What happens a lot when I go deep with the underhook, sometimes we do what we call the wizard, right? This right hand here, control the overhook. There you go. Start controlling the, the collar or whatever it is right here. And, then, and I'm a little bit tight. Now, even when I have my hand inside and I hide in my head, sometimes it's hard because he's sprawling. It's going to be hard to go. My hand comes out of the waist. It comes out of the belt. And I control the wrist. See this from here, guys. I'm gonna undo it this thing so you guys can see it. Get inside here. I keep it tight as you can. You see it? Now, like I said, I do not advise for you to open up the leg. If you do so, make sure you grapevine his leg. Avoid him to take this leg pretty easily. Got from here. Make sure that from here you just gotta move and shift your hips inside. Got from here, keep the elbow tight, keep the hips inside, elevate your elbow, and here. So, this is going to happen a lot when the guy goes for the wizard. And he does the wizard usually, avoiding me to take his back. All right, let's go back here again. Um, let's, go, let's go over here. Let's go over here so people can see it. Thank you, bye. So, I'm going from inside, I got a good underhook. Kevin now used the wizard to stop me to try to take his back. I got the hand inside. I transition my hand from the belt or the waist, and I control his wrist. Can you see that? Keep the elbow tied to the body. And like I said, if you open the leg, make sure you grapevine. Make sure it's not making it easy for him to take his leg out. I can position here, and I move my hips in between his legs. Keep the elbow tight. Elevate the elbow. And from here, like I said, I don't never, I never let them close the half guard again. Can't be going to try to close the half guard. I open my elbow, take the leg out, and I pass it from here. All right? The only difference really, guys, is when the guy started doing a good wizard of wanting me to take the back. And I got from here, hold the wrist, tight the elbow, my hands inside. And I when, you, when I actually shift the hips, this is the most important thing. Make sure you pass the hip from here to here. That will make a huge difference in between this, then actually just stretch your body and try to lift him up. This is a good detail. Kevin, come here for a second. Kevin is so strong, it's hard for me to really just actually bring him from here to there. What I'm doing here, especially if it started sprawling, is shift my hips inside. I'm starting to move my hips inside instead of just bring him from here to there. You know, it's a huge difference in between here and drag him and here. This is where if you try to hit the half car sweep, right? All right, guys, thank you for watching. This is Century BJJ.